It is actually Aaliyah's first birthday. <laughs> we are officially trying to pack everything up. It's coming. One piece is here. What I actually decided to do is to go ahead and clean the couch. Welcome here to your new home. Alright you guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is such an exciting day. It is actually Aaliyah's first birthday. And we decided to do Aaliyah a Monsters Inc. theme because a lot of you guys have commented that she looks like Boo. Look at these gloves. This Sully t-shirt. Mike was out. <laughs> I really wanted to recreate it to a T, so I even got the pink shirt. Then Boo was also wearing some like light purple leggings, so I got her that also. Alright, we need everybody's help. Balloons. I should have got the little pump thing and I forgot. Hi, Andy. Say hi to the vlog. All right. Hi. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, here, take a blue one and let it match yours, too. Hi, it's birthday today. Mom, it's not a cigarette. <laughs> 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 I may need uh, some better help. Alia, what are you watching? Hey, boo. Gee, gee, gee. Say hi. E yum, yum, We are officially trying to pack everything up and I actually saw this tip online. I don't remember where I saw it, but they never have so many clothes that are already on hangers and when they go back to the house, they're going to be on hangers anyway. I saw this tip where you actually grab a garbage bag and you kind of gather the clothes from the bottom. I may need a bigger garbage bag. Yeah, this is not going to work. Yes, it will. I'm telling you. For your big clothes, no? Yes, it will. I just do it in sections. I put a bag like this. And then you just have a half bag of clothes. Hey, okay, stop that. All right, just like that. Then you just go like this. And you can just put it like this in the car. And then when you're done, you come to the new place, you hang it up. And you leave the garbage <laughs> bags, so it's going to go in the garbage. can see us being here. You guys, the lighting here, first of all, insane. We have lighting in every single direction. It's kind of amazing. Let me just back up so you guys can see how big this space is. It's still really echoey in here, I'm assuming. Yeah, we have no furniture, but... We have our couch coming tomorrow. I actually got one off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, this is the one that I found. It's actually a perfect dupe for the cloud couch, which is amazing. And she's selling it for $960 compared to Every dupe I saw is at least two, three thousand dollars. So, so that's coming in. We have our dining chairs that we're probably gonna set up and build today. We decided to take this approach very slowly. I feel like yeah. every day we're gonna only bring like a couple of things. As you guys can tell, we got a bunch of our stuff back there in the corner. We have a lot of stuff that we still have to bring. We're getting the U-Haul, I think, on Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Family Everybody's Monday. like available and not working. We take advantage of yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. And if you aren't already, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I'm doing a lot of different polls like this on furniture. I should get to the house and I'm usually choosing the thing that is most popular because I obviously love your guys' input so I'm really excited to have you be a part of it so go ahead and follow me on there if you don't already and with that being said let's start off our first official errands day we're gonna go yes. to dollar store today we gotta get some liners for the kitchen we gotta stop by Ikea also get some drawer organizers and a lot of other kitchen gadgets trash bags all the typical boring house stuff that you just gotta do when you move in so this is the third time this week that we already got Dunkin Donuts in the morning can you tell that we have no groceries at home but honestly it's like a seven dollar meal you can complain about that you know this is a big deal it's kosher because mm -hmm. we have like a kosher dungan donuts like right by our house seven minutes from my house so. it's the best he has the egg and cheese croissant with veggie bacon and i brought my own yoohoo because mm -hmm. i need to wash it down with something so childhood back in memories here's a photo of him drinking yoohoo when he was a kid <laughs> heading to ikea today lots of things we mainly want to get for the kitchen today's also Aaliyah's first full day back in daycare so we're gonna be taking advantage of the fact that we have a little bit more free time. And tonight's actually gonna be the first night that we sleep there too. Yeah. So we gotta get some bed sheets, gotta get the bed ready. So as I was saying, mainly today we're only gonna be picking up like kitchen items and things like that. But there is one piece of furniture that I wanna get in Aaliyah's playroom. If you guys don't know, she's gonna have a playroom where we can keep all of her toys. I wanted to do kind of like an organizational unit for her to kind of put all of her toys away. So it could look cute when it's put away, but it could still be functional. I found this on Pinterest and almost every single item here is from Ikea. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to recreate 
decorate that exactly. They have so many amazing bins and baskets. I found this one right over here. I got two of these to put in the bottom and then I have to find the shelving unit as well. And then for the top, we got these. Erhan, should we just get the four and just be done with it? Well, let's get two. Let's get two and see. And then if we don't... Yeah. He's the one that stops me from like being impulsive and yeah, just buying everything. Else. Erhan, honestly, I was thinking about it. One of the best gifts anybody can give people is an Ikea gift card. I feel like you can always find stuff here that you can use. Okay, we found the calyx. I know, it's kind of heavy. Oh, I'll hold this for you. I'll help you with my foot. I'm going to get this attachment right here that you can put kind of like in one of these, but this is the high gloss white. I'm not really crazy about that, so I'm going to wait till the other one comes in stock. But at least now with this, we'll have a lot more organization in Aaliyah's room. All right, a bit hectic doing the budget things at once, but patch is on its way. Literally got the intern people coming, the couch is being delivered, Aaliyah's like cranky and like it's hard to put her to sleep, but it's fine. It's coming. One piece is here. You see, I told you it's so wide. Oh man, the big ass couch, very it's tough. Perfect. Guys, it's perfect. Oh my gosh, babe. It feels like a bed. Dang, you couldn't even wait for me. I'm oh, hungry. This is literally a setup. We have no table, so we're relying oh, on God. these it, boxes. Ironic is it that we're eating on our dining chairs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a pet cleaner, like a steamer cleaner. We're gonna try it, and I hope it gets most of it out. To be honest, though, I kind of like that it's not perfectly white because I feel like if it was perfectly white, I'll be so anal about getting it dirty. I only paid like 30% of what this couch is actually worth, which if you really think about it, it's a good deal. First morning in the new place and this lighting, it's giving me life, you guys. Look at the mess around. Good job! She can't reach it though. She can't I mean, get it. Yeah, she gets it. What do you mean? She reaches through the box. Really? Fuckado. Fuckado. Yeah, She loves her love every play kits, and this is the one for 12 months and up. Good job, Bufana! And it has all these different slots here at the bottom. You know, I think what's really good about this, it just makes her work on her motor skills. Plus, their toys are actually really aesthetic. I love that they're all wood, too. Okay. Headboard has arrived. I definitely need to, at some point, um, spray paint it. So for now, I'm just going to put it in Elio's playroom. You can tell by the look of the hair. It's one of those days. Today is officially moving day. We got our U-Haul. Just came in with all of our stuff and clearly the mess behind me is accumulating right now. Put the carpet on top, put some stuff and I'm just praying that it didn't break. Erin's dad told me that it will not break. He said, I'll pay you $2,000 if this mirror breaks. The real question is, are you giving me $2,000? Let's see. I said, if it broke, oh. You wish. Lucky! <laughs> the bet up until you bring it to the room or just to bring it here. Yeah, this is going to the master. Please make it up in one piece. Please, please, please. Please fit, please fit, please fit. Perfect! Welcome here to your new home. Basically, the couch that we got, you guys know that I love it and I clearly think it's gonna look so nice in this space. We're gonna push it like all the way there and gonna have an ottoman right in front. This couch is originally from the brand Modani and they are pretty much like a dupe for the cloud couch. Let's just say the cloud couch can cost you over like $10,000. This one costs around four for the size of the module that I have. The girl on Facebook Marketplace was selling it for $960 and when I spoke to her asking like why she's selling it for so low, it's pretty much because the bottom of the couch is actually kind of dirty. The pillows are all removable so I did take them off, I threw them all in the wash. But the bottom of the couch is pretty dirty. People here in Florida, I've had a debacle with it already. People here don't take off their shoes in the house, which I always do, I always did. I have slippers for the house. So as you can tell, the bottom of the couch, it's not terrible, but it's definitely like darker here right in the bottom when it's supposed to be like white and clean like that. So what I actually decided to do is to go ahead and clean the couch. A lot of people don't even know that you can really do this, but I got this spot cleaner from Amazon. It was like less than $100. It was not expensive at all. Mainly people use this if they have like pets in the house and they want to like clean up any stains or anything like that. I think it's doing an amazing job so far. Here is like an example of what the before was and then here I already started cleaning it. Like look at that difference. I still have a few more spots over here that I have to go through but like compared to this that's amazing. But you could tell the dining chairs came in too. Those are all the cushions for the couch. So that's a nice little hack for you guys. If you're somebody who like really wants a white couch, but like you have kids or you have a family, you have pets, you're scared, keep one of these at home and it's so handy. You can always do like a deep clean once every couple of months. And also that's why I don't turn away things from Facebook Marketplace because I was able to get this for like 30% of the price of what it actually costs, which is incredible. <laughs> Like that's 
that's the after. It's wet. I know, but that's a dry. Oh. But it's good, no? Yeah. Babe, can you have a bit more of a reaction? I'll be more wow when it's done. Oh wow, one side only. <laughs> to be happier we finally have the entire couch set up i put everything in the wash don't mind the mess still in the back we're still slowly slowly moving everything in but you guys i can't believe that i got this couch for under a thousand dollars like what this is like the perfect lounge couch and yesterday we actually got a tv set up in my last room we had the same problem where we had the wire and we don't want to make more holes than we need to so i need to obviously figure out a solution right here and just this morning we actually got our dining table too we already have it all built i am so obsessed with this like light wood grain i think it looks so good and it still kind of complements the cool tone in the floor but something that i am bummed about is the dining chairs as much as i love them look at how dark the wood is and on the website it was not this dark at all the thing is with these chairs they are real wood so there is a way to fix it i can either go ahead and like sand off all of the staining or maybe i could use some paint stripper and strip it because i did kind of want it to look more like a matching set right now these two wood tones they're contrasting so much but in terms of the couch here's the final overview as you can see it is like so clean compared to before and as much as this couch does wrinkle when you lie down in it you can easily just fix it by fluffing up the couches again lots of stuff still coming this week we got the rug we still have to tackle the headboard i haven't gotten a chance to do that yet let me know down below if you guys are in a place in your life where you would ever get a white couch because i already know that so many people will be like hey you have a toddler why are you getting a white couch it's gonna make it so dirty but really finding a couch for cheaper on facebook marketplace and then using that cleaner to clean it is the best hack ever you'll save yourself so much money and you can keep using that machine and again and again to make sure that your furniture looks new but thank you guys again so much for watching i love you forever and always and i can't wait to see you in the next moving vlog Thank you.